The change management process starts with a request for change, or RFC, in short. The RFC is a record in the change management system that allows information to be captured and tracked through to completion. The graphic illustrates the different activities in a change management process. The request for change, or RFC, in short, is logged. An initial review is performed to filter RFCs, for example, if it is incomplete or incorrectly routed. The RFCs are assessed. It may require involvement of Change Advisory Board or Emergency Change Advisory Board for business justification, impact, costs, benefits, and risks of changes. This is authorized by the change manager. While the responsibility for authorization for changes lies with the change manager, the change requester in turn will ensure that they have the approval of three main areas. These areas are financial approval, that is to say, what's it going to cost? And what's the cost of not doing it? Business approval, that is to say, what are the consequences to the business and of not doing it? Technical approval, that is to say, what are the consequences to the infrastructure and of not doing it? Work orders are issued for the build of the change and carried out by implementation groups. Change management coordinates the work performed with multiple checkpoints, which means the change management forwards approved changes to the relevant product experts so that they can build and test the changes and create and deploy releases. Implemented changes are evaluated after some time or post-implementation review, PIR in short, is done. If the change is successful, it can be closed. The change is closed. A RFC is standard form to capture and process all changes to any CI. A key activity of change management is the assessment of the change request either by change manager or change advisory board. Now let's look at a key concept in assessing changes in change management called the seven R's of change management in the next slide.